So, how is Pivotal like composed? Mm -hmm. um, what are the layers and what are the tools? You get? Maybe you can sure, yeah. put it yeah. over. Let me, right. let me put the beard on my side here so I have a tendy. Yeah, sure, okay. So, at, at the bottom layer, of mm -hmm. course, is uh, uh, HDFS. Yeah. Right. And it's native HDFS. It's native. Know. It's it's absolutely. It's basically open open source Apache uh, HDFS. Yeah. Of course, now there is a whole movement of Hadoop compatible file systems, mm -hmm. and there are some from our partner, uh, our parents in particular, EMC. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, so we have support uh, not only for open source HDFS, but for other scale out file systems like Isilon and uh, soon to be uh, uh, object storage system called Viper. Right? Oh, cool. But but it's all really from from the application point of view. It Doesn't just matter. looks like HDFS, yeah. okay. right? Okay, so that's basically the thing. Obviously, you have the whole uh, MapReduce stack, uh, stack uh, which has you know Hive. Okay, I'm now going to turn that's 90 degrees. Yeah. So good. Hive, Pig, uh, Mahout, etc. So that's that's one stack. Mm -hmm. Okay, and obviously for for all of these, like uh, other distributions, we have our own. Uh, installation and configuration manager mm -hmm. and uh, a monitoring and management system that we call as the pivotal command center right mm -hmm. that manages this entire stack yeah. okay so the big two two big additions to this this stack that we did over the years is first thing that we call uh, which is uh, called hawk yeah hawk as i said is green plum database running on top of uh, mm -hmm. uh, hdfs mm -hmm. now as part of since we took the green plum database engine and ported uh, execution engine and ported it on top of HDFS. Yeah. So, so this is Greenplum, right? This is this the, is Greenplum. The loft Greenplum that is incredibly fast. It has Absolutely. security. That has monitoring. That has everything. All yes. the tool integration. Yeah. 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 Why wouldn't I use that instead you, of like something like this or? One of the many so you, wanna be hives. You should be. You should be. That's that's right. basically the thing, right? I mean, earlier we used to say that okay, performance is our sort of main distinguishing factor, right? right? But really, the whole ecosystem of tools and uh, uh, the connectors yeah, like from outside of Hawk. There's Tableau so running example, on top of exactly. that. There's this running on top of exactly. that, and that, yeah. and and Informatica pumps yeah. in data. Right. Yeah, so you basically can you have Green Plum yeah. and you can basically say I replace Green Plum with Hog and what I get for free is that it runs on Hadoop. It runs on Hadoop exactly. Right. So exactly. my 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 migration from like a traditional MPP database with yeah. Green Plum that yeah. I maybe have to Hadoop could be absolutely pain free. Absolutely pain free. It's, it, yeah. I just yeah. basically replace this yeah. and I'm done. And, and then I have the opportunity to do all that magic stuff. Right. But Boom! It's there. Yeah. So e cool. even even with this though, uh, because of because of HDFS's uh, semantics and, mm -hmm. and limitations on in place upgrade uh, in place updates etc. So we had to drop uh, a few pieces from Greenplum database to to get this working. Okay. So uh, we used to have a table called the heap table, which would actually organize the tables in a classic B plus tree, yeah. right? And managing B plus trees on on HDFS is you know pain. To say the least, so so that is why we moved to the whole append only tables. Yeah. But the execution engine essentially remains identical. Okay. Okay. And then we have a project that was going on for almost uh, four years now mm -hmm. with uh, UC Berkeley mm -hmm. and several other uh, universities for a, a, a package of machine learning libraries called Madlib. So that runs inside of the Hawk. Oh, okay. Right? So so Hawk is basically execution engine plus a bunch of UDFs, uh, PLR, all the you know UDFs written in various languages, uh, plus Madlib. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's sort of for the analytics uh, uh, use cases. So the only thing I'm if I replace my green plum with Hawk and have a do basically for free in there, the only thing I'm kind of losing or what I have to move to is append only tables. Yes, that's right. You yeah, I mean, then you will have that anyhow with Hadoop. Right? That is correct. But is all correct. my ETL infrastructure, my everything analytics infrastructure, work. everything just works. Yeah, absolutely. Right? I, absolutely. I basically do the trick where someone has all the uh, Chinese on the table and you just pull yeah, out exactly. the thing and it's still right yeah, there. Absolutely. absolutely. That's cool. Yeah. So, so over the last year, uh, since uh, Green Plum and uh, various properties from or various projects from VMware also merged into Pivotal, uh, we ported Gemfire, uh, which is actually the SQL Fire part of Gemfire mm -hmm. with the, the SQL query interface, uh, and that is rebranded as uh, Gemfire XD. Mm -hmm. So what Gemfire XD is 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 basically uh, an in-memory data store 
with a, a SQL query engine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so these are the two components that are sort of a special sauce in uh, uh, in our pivotal Hadoop distribution, which are not available from elsewhere. Mm -hmm. But the rest of the things, if you want to just use pivotal Hadoop distribution for running your MapReduce mm -hmm. and Hive, yes, you can yeah. do that too. So I have a, I, I get kind of an SAP HANA that sits on top of a freaking fast green plum and I get the Hadoop under and I basically leave everything as is with my whole right. infrastructure right. and instead of writing into green plum tables now right. for free, I get um, you know, hawk tables on HDFS, yeah, exactly. and that's Parquet, as you said earlier. It is, it is now it with the Hadoop 2.0, uh, sorry, in the uh, PhD or Pivotal Hadoop 2.0, it's yeah. Parquet. So it's there. Parquet, yeah. and then I can use every MapReduce yeah. kind of framework, um, like Mahout, to go against Parquet. Yeah, absolutely, oh, absolutely, great. right. But th there's only one correction that I would like to make, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Gemfire XD is actually optimized for gets and puts. Okay. Uh, unlike uh, SAP HANA, mm -hmm. uh, HANA uh, from its beginning was engineered to be for uh, what they call as the OLAP, mm -hmm. uh, online everything processing. Yeah. So OLTP and OLAP combined, yeah. right? So it is actually much more efficient, I think, uh, based on all the reports that I've heard, to do scan-based workloads mm -hmm. in SAP HANA. Yeah. Whereas the points get sent and uh, the rapid data ingestion as well as point gets and puts actually are pretty well optimized in Gemfire XD. Okay, what's yeah. kind of more critical in that environment anyhow, right? It, exactly, yeah. exactly, because the scan for scan-based workloads, when you are scanning large amounts of data, we already have a product right. which is optimized for that. Right. Yeah, exactly. So, so that's what <coughs> the entire <coughs> Pivotal HD looks like. Now, on the top, uh, uh, on the top, we basically are working on a project called Spring XD, and uh, Spring XD is, uh, since you have worked with Spring, it's basically Spring Data, Spring Integration, and Spring Batch mm. uh, with plugins for Hadoop and everything else. So That's I write a thing. Spring application, yeah. and I basically write to Hibernate or to Gemfire? Yes, exactly. Jeez. Exactly. That's that's basically the whole goal. Now, Spring XD is, I think, uh, at uh, what we call as the release candidate six. Mm -hmm. So it's not yet GA, but soon, I think by the by the end of this year, it should be GA. Can I just take my Spring application that by today writes in an RDBMS and put your framework under oh, yeah. and I'm Absolutely. done? And then Absolutely. it writes into Hadoop, but yeah. I also have the performance to pull out because exactly. of the memory so piece. Both, both of these have JDBC drivers. Yeah. Both yeah. Hawk as well as Gemfire XD yeah. have JDBC drivers, right? And the data, when it gets retired from Gemfire XD, actually lands in HDFS so that it can be ingested back into Hawk right. as well. So, so that, so that all makes a really strong enterprise application, data-driven enterprise application story where, where you guys say, you know, you have your Spring application right. or you have your environment that's already there. And by the way, we do the, uh, you know, the, the tablecloth trick yeah, where you just cloth, replace right, it right. and nobody even exactly. notices it. Yeah, that's, great. that's basically the thing. And you'll basically see, you know, more things here. So Graph Lab, OpenMPI, all these things, Spark in future, you'll see it there. Come there. Yeah. In your own words, the customers of the Pivotal, what is the reason they're going for Pivotal? I, th I think the, the main reason that they are going for Pivotal, actually there are three main reasons now, mm -hmm. because uh, also Hawk, Gemfire XD, it, that came out recently. Mm -hmm. So this is the main reason. Yeah. And the second one is our uh, support pedigree from EMC. Right. A uh, lot of our support You might actually, did that before. It's not we, we actually building a new company. That, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right? I mean, so software, yeah. being, being part of EMC, the Green Plum in particular was, was part of EMC. Mm -hmm. Actually, a lot of support people have come from that, you know, support grind of, mm -hmm. of uh, EMC. So, yeah. so that whole... You can call them at 2 a.m. You call them they at 2 a.m. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. You, you, you can call, you know, the execs at 2 a.m. and they will wake up people. That's, that's how it <laughs> works sometimes. Yeah, absolutely. All right, I want to have that phone number. <laughs>